Zebra Herd, welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. In the last episode, we made our way to the Scorching Sandpaper Desert, and today, we are actually going to be moving on to the next area, I believe. I think we've done everything we can around here for right now. We're gonna be going to the Scorching Sandpaper Miner, and hopefully, oh gosh, <laughs> everything will work out around there. We did pretty good around here, but there's all these glowing things we just don't know really what to do with, so hopefully we can figure that out as we ride our little boot over this way. But if we need to, we can always go back to Toad Town. I might do that later in today's episode. Uh, there's still, I'm sure, plenty of reason to go back later on as well. But yeah, we went up this tower. It seemed like we needed some kind of light that we just don't currently have. So there's a couple of things we definitely need to decipher still in this desert. I mean, included to the fact that there's a giant eclipse in the sky. But here we go, Scorching Sandpaper Miner. We'll be rolling around here a little bit with our boot and see what we can get done. First off, there's a toad already, I see it, on this cactus. So let's save you real quick. There we go. He doesn't look so happy. Oh, thank you, my life, life's dream was to live as a beetle in a cactus, but it turned out to not be that great. <laughs> well, that's okay, you just have to reprioritize. And there we go, there's all the question blocks here, hit here in the miner. Um, flashy iron boots, stronger and fancier than regular iron, iron boots, they can deal huge damage. That's nice. And this is where, I guess, the, you can see over there, that, that's where the streamer goes. I guess we should just go and check that out now. Weird. Uh, it just goes right under the sand. Hey, it's the end of the streamer, we did it! Yeah, just get out some big scissors and cut it. You know, it wasn't easy to get here. Following the red streamer and the, the and then the blue one, we've had some hard moments, and some sad ones. But now, finding the yellow streamer like this, it feels like we finally caught a break. Wait, where's the end? Is it buried in the sand? Oh no! What are we going to do? We can't dig into the sand, can we? I mean, it's easier than if it was rock. Wait, wait, there's something written on the base. Maybe it's instructions for how to dig down. Hmm, yes, yes. It's those mysterious letters again. I can't make folds or tails of this. Just when my spirits were so high, I didn't know what to do, and then the sun is just gone. I just need a ray of light. One bright ray would do so much for me right now. Oh, well there is a couple. Whoa, there are at least three rays of lights up there. Maybe even four. <laughs> they're giving me hope again. And they're so beautiful. Rays like that could only come from a lively place filled with lots of helpful people, right? Maybe there's even someone there who can read those mysterious letters for us. I guess we should go and find out. So what I'm a little confused about, though, is what else is going on around here? It seems like this is actually leading to a couple of different areas. Like, if we go over this way, what is this? This is... Scorching Sandpaper East. So there's just different directions to go, and I think we should just continue to explore everything. Um, and hopefully we can figure it all out. Why am I not speed boosting? There it goes. So is there a west? I guess so. You can see there's a tunnel leading, or not a tunnel, but a tower leading over this way. Actually, no, it's over there again. Weird, so this is Scorching Sandpaper West. I, I know that like, I will explore the, these areas soon. I wanted to sort of just figure out what is where before we sort of move forward. And I think there might be an area over here. Oh, actually, I should probably, oh, okay. Well, I was still sped up there. But I wanna try to take on a couple of Pokies soon, because there's some easy um, stuff at the least. Oh, there we go, <laughs> we got that toad that way. Hello, by unfolding me, you've subscribed to a service that I like to call Ask a Cactus. Did you know that you can leave a boot car anywhere and it will come back when you use the whistle? Sorry, I was a cactus for a long time. I kept my brain active by coming up with this idea. Thank you. All right, well, that was the only toad. So, looks like um, this area specifically, the miner, is pretty minor when it comes to the possible collectibles. So we'll be coming back to that area for sure. But for right now, let's see what's, whoa, look at this, Shroom City. Wow, that's so cool, it's a neon. Oh, I love it. Wow, look at this, the lights, the sights, it's all, it's all so bright, what a night. I'm a poet, right? Wow. Maybe there's someone here who can read the mysterious letters. Should we check out that big, bright building? I guess so. Let's also talk to some people. Sorry, this is a VIP entrance to the desert. Only key-carrying guests of the hotel can enter. All right, and he's gonna say the same thing. So I guess there's different parts of the desert even now that are going to be blocked off. And what is this about? One thing, apparently there's a toad nearby. No question block there? Okay. Boot car parking, one spot open. Oh, okay, so it's parking. Uh, perfect. 
Ah, that was good. Hey, nice job with the parking. Thank you. <laughs> I tried my best. Uh, so yeah, we'll look around and see if we can't find any toads, maybe like on the trees or something, because it was giving me a little ring. Oh yeah, I see one way up there. How can I get him? I don't know, we'll have to find a way up there later. Welcome to Sniff City, a desert oasis by by and for Sniffets. You might have heard some other name for it. Just disregard that. Sit Sniffy? That's a weird name, but I can't deny that this place looks really cool. With this many folks bustling around, we're sure to find someone who can help us with the mysterious letters, Mario. I guess so. You can't read this. <laughs> what if that's what it actually says? Yeah, I don't know what it, what it says. There was a toad who translated it for me once, but I forgot. Hmm. Sniff it to my left, sniff it to my right. That's Sniff City for you. Alrighty then, um, are you okay over here? You look so sad. I'm pretty sure I can fly, I just need a little help getting off the ground. Um, nope. Will that help? Maybe if I get up here and slam like this? Not quite. Hmm, we'll have to come from like higher up, I guess. Well, let's go into this little building. Oh, it's like a little inn. This place was vacant, so I just moved in. Free rent and all the rugs I can scuffle across. What a deal. Oh wow, so he's living in here for free. Interesting, so don't think there's gonna be too much in here for us then. Uh, well, let's head out and we'll go into the other side. So I guess this is a bit of a duplex. What's going on inside of this one? Apparently there's another toad around. Oh, this guy's snap, he's just snapping, <laughs> not snapping. Don't mind me, just sniffing the bed. Hey, don't act like you wouldn't be sniffing if I weren't here first. Wait, are you not a sniff it? <laughs> I'm not. Okay, well, he's not gonna say anything else. So far an odd lack of things to find, but that's okay. Hmm, yeah, where is this toad that it's ringing about? Oh, I see him, he's up there. So there's gotta be a way to get up there. Good to know. Uh, but right now we're just gonna save. Maybe I can go behind. Oh, oh, would you look at this? All right. We'll try to figure this out a little bit. Now we're way up here. And I can get this one toad. Oh. This hiding place was gold. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. So yeah, once again, let's check to see. That was our first toad saved here in Shroom City. 4%, so we still have a lot of toads to find. And I'll try to jump on this guy's thing. Ah, oh, I didn't quite make the jump correctly. So I'll try that again. Because <laughs> we definitely want to get that. Help him out whenever we can. Uh, so yeah, let's get back up here. Boop, boop, boop. And I guess we jump from that part of the brick. Whoa! <laughs> wow, and that gave us all the items on there. Awesome. And also the toad. Don't you dare say I told you so. <laughs> All right, so we get some uh, a shiny mushroom, shiny fire flower, flashy hammer, and a nice flower. And also, we can help you out. Oh, thank you, I've been trapped up here for ages. It's no way to treat a VIP guest like me. Well, at least I have my luxurious mansion in Toad Town waiting for me. Toodles, oh really? So you're the, the toad that has the mansion, that has the Goomba on the top. Oh, do stop by sometime, I'll reward you handsomely. I definitely will. Well, in the meantime, there was no way to hop on like the palm trees or anything, right? I'm trying to find out if there was maybe a way to get up there so that we can, I mean, I guess we don't have to. I was thinking like maybe we could do that to get onto the thing, but we don't have to for that as well because we already saved the toad. Definitely wanna try to get as many confetti pieces as I can out of these trees because there's a lot of holes to fill up I'm noticing around here. So over this way, just gonna toss this out like that. And there we go, there's our first hole filled. So I do wanna check that real quick as well. 17%, so there's there's a good chunk around here. Desert help kiosk, ooh. Ah, traveler, welcome to our oasis paradise. You must be tired from traveling such a long way. Perhaps you'd enjoy a rest at this town's fine luxury, luxury hotel. I'm in no way affiliated with the hotel and I do not receive a commission. Nope, nah. -uh. I sure hope so, or I might be calling a committee for the false advertising. It won't be false advertising, it'd just be uh, non-genuine advertising. <laughs> Oh, there we go. But, uh, hello. Yeah, we had another visitor recently. Pretty sure he was Toad and not a Sniffet, a weird guy. Well, seeing how this place is apparently Mushroom City at some point, I'm guessing there were more Toads here at some point than there were Sniffets. Hello. Can you read that writing? I just know it's important. I cannot, but I'll be sure to return here once we do. What about these two? 
But that odd toad with the weird hat sure asks a lot of questions. He seemed to like old things. I've only seen one toad around here lately. He's probably at the hotel, strange guy. Okay, well for right now let's save, or not, well hopefully there's a toad around here to save, but let's for right now deal with that. Oh, there we go. Hey buddy. Ah, thank you for that. I was stuck in there so long I had to resort to subliminal marketing techniques. I run the shop next door. Please come buy something. All right, we'll do. DJ Toad's Groovy Sound Discs and Shroom City Shop. All right, let's check out the Shroom City Shop and see if we can't buy some cool stuff. Ooh, shiny. Hello there, welcome to the Shroom City Shop. So, we already have three flashy hammers. We only have one flashy boot, so maybe I can buy at least one more. I definitely need to equip this stuff. And I already have one flashy iron boot. We'll equip another one. And we got some collectible treasures up this way, but they're very, very expensive. Um, the, the Sniff City Royal Hotel is 13,440. I will get that once we can afford it. I'll have to keep it in mind. For right now, I, I just barely have more than half of that. So, we're gonna keep trying. For right now, what's over this way? Oh wow, it's, yeah, it's a record shop. But nobody seems to be here right now. Oh, here we go, here we go, I see him up there. <laughs> Whoop, gotta hop in on your records to save you. There we go. Oh, thank you for that. No one buys sound discs anymore, so I thought I'd be there forever. I'm surprised there's still, still this store still exists, to be honest. The owner isn't even here half the time. Huh. Well, hopefully we can find him. Right now, though. Oh, yeah, maybe up here. Take a look at this. Whoa. Aha, and that's gonna be a collectible treasure for us. Oh, actually, no, it's just a bag. No, no, that, that is a collectible treasure, number 66, bag of confetti. I thought we just had gotten more confetti out of that. Not the case. Speaking of confetti, a little bit more in this box. Is there anything else to do around here? I guess not. All right, well, there's our first collectible treasure of this area. We'll have to check to see how much more we can really get. Um. That was 33, wait, no, no, that was 17%? Yeah, 17%, okay. Well, let's keep looking around. I wanna st stick to down here before we go up a level. Cause there's a lot to explore around here. This is quite the city. Oh, and there's a, a bench here too. So we don't really need the heal, but Olivia always says something when we sit on these for the first time. Even without the sun, this place is so bright. It's like it never sleeps. Also, does that genie lamp in the background have Luigi's symbol on it? Weird. Also, it sounds like there might be another toad around here, so we should check a little bit of everything. Aha! Yep, he's stuck in here, isn't he? Uh, why is that only sometimes working? There we go. Dang, nice hammer swing, Mario. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and here's another sniff it. Isn't this a tranquil pond? It's so smooth and calm, it's almost like a mirror. Maybe it is. Huh. All right, well, let's look around a little bit more. Apparently another toad hanging out somewhere. This, that's that's a toad. There's a lot of toads to save. I felt like a flower, but I looked like a weed. Story of my life. <laughs> wow, poor guy. Something like this place used to be known as Shroom City. All I know is that it was completely vacant when I, a Sniffets moved in. Finders keepers, right? Well, I guess, but. We should really probably respect whoever owned it first. Maybe something bad happened to him. Anyways, there's that done. I guess we could, can we, oh no. I was gonna see if I can't use it to hop back up. <laughs> we'll get up there in just a second. I should probably explore the left side as well. But there's the hotel in the background, looking very fancy. Cause I know that there was still more stuff to do to the left. Like I said, I sort of wanted to tackle like one level at a time. Uh, this guy's back over here now. The concept work, maybe I just need to go go bigger. Maybe you do, keep trying. Oh, okay, so it looks like we have a trinket shop here. Ah, the water is so pretty at night, which is 100% of the time now that the sun is gone. Oh, and I do see a toad thing back there. Fun, funky, and functional, I have accessories for sale. They are good, this is the entirety of my sales pitch. <laughs> um. Okay, so these we can afford at least a little bit more. Hidden block heart. Oh, I need that. It's also Silver Heart Plus and Silver Guard Plus. Maybe I'll get Silver Guard Plus for right now. It reduces the amount of damage you take in a battle by a lot. That'd be nice. 6,000 coins, I'll take it. So we have a lot of money to earn up and then come back here. Thank you. 
All right then, so let's make sure we actually equip that in our accessories menu, just like that. Now I know there's a toad back there, but I don't see too much of a way to actually get over. Maybe at some point I can just walk over the water, but I will definitely want to access that at that time. Uh, for right now, I guess we're going back over here. So yeah, what's going on up this way? Obviously we have the hotel, and it looks like actually the, the staircase here is a bit blocked off, so I can't quite go, go up there for the time being, but I can get this question block. Boop. And is there a toad to save? Yeah, I see him up there on the, on the palm tree. So I will have to find my way up there one way or another. Can't do it this way. Still can't read this. But, what about you two? Hello. Welcome to the Sniff City Royal Hotel, Traveler. Oh, it's incredible. We've been working pretty hard, right? Do we deserve a little rest? Maybe even room service? I guess so. I can assure you that we spare no expense to provide the ultimate in luxury and hospitality. You'll find no finer accommodations in all of Sniff City. I can guarantee you that. So we'll go in in just a moment. Let's look around the perimeter. Uh, when they shine all of, all four lights on the front of the building, it, it's really something. I agree. Oh, and I guess we could hop down from here. So we'll probably go into the, uh, the place soon enough, but I want to look around as much as I can first. It's ringing around here, but I don't see any toads. Weird. Uh, let's go over here. I guess there must be a way up that I'm not seeing at the moment. See, let's wrap around a little bit. I know that there is at the least uh, some stuff to do here. Oh, but I still can't get up this way. Weird. Yeah, everything's blocking it off over here, so still can't go and save that toad. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, let's talk to this Sniffit. And is this like Luigi's like, I don't know, tent? It has the green L on it. Hey, word to the wise, I don't trust the Sniffit who's setting up that tent with the lamp on top. The Sniffit though, it's not Luigi? Hmm, guess we'll have to find out. Uh, under construction, I can't even go in right now. Gotcha, and once again, there's a toad somewhere around that I can't quite reach. And I can't go over this way. Weird, so this is all gonna have to be touched upon later. Let's go into the hotel. Oh wow. Hey everybody, he's in my seat, and yes, I'm aware that there's another seat over. All right. Bro, I've been, I'm vibing so hard with this music. It's like I'm totally oblivious to everything else. All right. Uh, apparently, once again, there's a toad around here that needs to be saved. There's a lot of those that I just can't quite seem to find. Can't go into the water. Can I talk to this guy, though? Can you believe that guy surfing in the fountain? Where'd that board even come from? That board is a toad. I see it now. <laughs> I can't quite get him from here, and he has the keys to something. You think the lamp shaped stall behind the hotel is fishy? Why is it taking so long to set up? Yeah, I know, I saw that. Uh, hello, this guy's dancing. I'm incapable of embarrassment. You and me both. What's up, you got a request? Oh, I forgot, I don't take requests, scram. Well, that's rude. Can I hop on top of it or something? This is a fancy little, I just wanted to, hmm. Can I just put a stop, stop the music. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I like how we can just spin around while we're talking to him. Uh, so not much we can do around here then. Oh, unless I can open this up, but it's locked. I'm guessing we need that key that he's holding. So let's go this way. Huh, well first off, let's save. This is definitely a nice hotel though, they weren't kidding. Looking for a room? Go check at the front desk. I'm just designated lobby pacer. <laughs> I guess to make the place look a little bit busier. Welcome, welcome. It's always such a pleasure to encounter travelers like yourselves. Unfortunately, we are fully booked at the moment. I've heard that sleeping in the desert is an option. Oh, we're not looking for a room. We're looking for a person who can read the mysterious letters. Is there anyone like that staying here? Oh, Professor Toad, you're working with him? Well, he's out right now, unfortunately. I suppose I can give you the key to his room if you're working together. Have a good day. Well, there we go, I guess we're taking this. Didn't even try to verify our information, but guess it's not his problem. Professor Room's key, 
or professor's room key. Uh, it's the key to the professor's room, but where is he? Mario, I think the clerk thinks we're working with some kind of Professor Toad. How lucky are we? This might be our chance to meet someone who can read the mysterious letters. Up the stairs at the end of the second floor hallway. Can't miss it. I hope you guys can keep uh, each other busy talking about, what was it? Archery arts? Four hours and hours? All right, well, <laughs> I can't wait to meet this mysterious professor. All right, awesome. Okay, so I guess for right now we'll go to the Professor Toad's room and then we'll look around for some other stuff later, but there's a lot to do around here. Whoa! Hey, look at this! There's a huge picture all along the wall. Incredible. What is it, though? It's almost like a comic book. Would we call it a comic wall? Oh, and there's some more of the mysterious lettering, too. I sure hope the Toad we're looking for can help us read this language. It seems like it's everywhere. Yeah, this one. Maybe, oh, you know what? I think I know what this is saying. So when we climbed to the top of the toad tower, there was an eye that we had to put something in. We didn't have anything. But maybe there are four of those in total and it'll point towards something. Probably the place where Olivia could sing. Aha, and that's what this is saying here. You can see it's pointing towards that. And then there's the fire elemental. And then a little dance in the in the place. That's That's a weird looking hieroglyphic toad. I don't like the like the human proportions. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so we have the professor's room key. Let's try that out. So you got a fancy little suite up here. The key isn't working. What's going on? Ah, uh, pardon me, you two. I completely forgot earlier. We down or upgraded your your friend to a different room. He's on the first floor in one of the basique rooms. Sorry for the mix up. All right, just follow me. I'll show you. Okay, so he's not having this fancy little suite. Okay, so he's not he's on the first floor, not the second. But at least we got to see these cool pictures up here. I think that was the whole reason plot-wise why we came up here instead of down there. So let's just hop down if I can. I guess I can't. <laughs> I was trying to do a little bit of a shortcut, so over that line. All right, so I'll just follow him. And here we are. Through this doorway, then the first door on your left. My apologies. It happens. So I guess it's this one. Um, use the key again, and we'll see how things go. Whoa. Ooh, it is pretty nice. I want room service. It's my first time in a hotel. And look at this bed. It's classy yet cozy. I could just lie there and unfold. Ah, uh, <laughs> she's so cute. Ah, uh, but I suppose we don't really have time to relax. So is there anything around here that could help us find that Professor Mario? Hmm. As you can see, there's another hieroglyph here, basically. Still can't read that, but when I see it, it's just like a toad at what looks like the very city we're in right now. Archaeology log day XX. <laughs> okay, a long last a clue. This may unlock the secrets of the ancient ones. I haven't I have I have recently discovered an ancient treasure, an item that could prove key in my research. I've loosely translated its name as Sun Incense, and it appears to play a role in certain ancient ceremonies. Archaeology log day XX. I have obtained the Sun Incense from the Sniffet for for a fair price. My preparations are complete. I now make the for the Sun Altar. What did you learn, Mario? Is that his journal? I can't read his handwriting, so you'll have to help me. Does it say anything about where he went or if he took anything with him? So, it does. The sun incense and he went to the sun altar. Should we check out the front of the desk again and ask about the professor? Sure. We should also look around some of this other area as well. Um, if we can just see, oh, is there a toad in here? Yes, there is. <laughs> there we go. So we saved one here in the hotel. Wow, a personal wake up call delivered with a ringing hammer blow. The service here is amazing. And I can go into this room. Oh, wow. Hey, buddy, you got a big hole in your wall. What's an ancient one? Whoever in the next room over won't shut up about him. These walls are too thin. All right, well, let's fill this up. We'll get some extra coins. And once again, another, uh, some kind of hieroglyph. We'll have to figure it out. But we're just gonna keep moving over this way and also get some confetti from this. I think we're pretty full on confetti even though we just used some. So we can move over. So we'll ask you a little bit more about it. 
Thanks for your help in the fr front desk, Sniffit. Uh, the room is posh but tasteful. I may have rolled around on the bed a little bit. Don't worry, it happens all the time. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that reminds me, your colleague was asking after a particular trinket we had on display. I didn't want to sell it to him, but he simply insisted, so I may have charged a bit more than it's worth. I've been feeling bad about that, so why don't you take another one for free? Whoa! Sun incense. Incense that smells like warm rays of the sun. Interesting. Ah, I feel better. Thank you for that. Now, if you're still looking to meet up with your friend, he went off happily somewhere, I'm afraid. We don't offer concierge services, but you may want to check in with the desert help kiosk attendant in the town so you don't get lost. Will do. In the meantime, there's still a little bit more of this hotel to explore. Hello. This place has been skating by on the strength of its ancient murals for a long time, if you ask me. All right, all right, I guess the pool is pretty nice too. Ooh, is there a pool? I wanna see the pool. Can't go into this one, that one's locked. I don't see a pool anywhere around here. Oh, hello. Isn't it quiet around here? It's like I'm the only one in the place. Well, I guess you are. And what will this say? It's just another toad one. So we'll have to revisit all of these rooms that hopefully we can learn a little bit more about what's going on once we have the ability to decipher things. So that's cool. Oh, there's a toad under here. Okay, I see that. Let's go ahead and save this guy. He was all squished. I've missed 10 straight continental breakfasts. Oh no, that's the best part of a hotel. So let's see how many toads we've saved so far. Um, 34%, not too bad, not too bad. So we'll just leave here for now. It looks like we're gonna have to do a lot of re-exploring of this area in the future. I don't quite know how to help him, that little toad being surfed upon. <laughs> we'll figure it out in time. But for right now, what else can we do around here? For right now, it's still ringing at me. I still can't do much about it. So I think that the best bet for right now will be talking to the uh, concierge, not the concierge, but the, uh, the tourist person guy here. Welcome to the Desert Help Kiosk. How can I help you? Scorching Sandpaper Desert. Ah, the Great Desert. It is the largest desert in the region, known for its scorching sands. Many visitors enjoy a trip to the ancient avian statues, and the Sun Altar is not to be missed. Anything else? Uh, scorching Sandpaper Miner. Ah, the less great desert. It's still pretty great. You'll find this small desert just outside the gate to Sniff City. And there are even less great deserts located to the east and west too. Anything else? Desert Towers. Ah, the Desert Towers, carved in a mysterious likeness. The towers have a mystified and delight to desert tourists and locals alike for ages. There are also towers beyond the left and right doors near the entrance to the town. So yeah, I guess we need to get the, the, the key to get into those. Um, maybe the key we have will allow for that. The key we just got from Professor Toad. Well, we didn't get it from him, but it was for him. Uh, for right now, yeah, let's try talking to these guys. Good day, key holder. As a guest at the hotel, you're welcome to use this, this exclusive door for scorching sandpaper far east. Well, that's cool. There's a lot of the desert to explore, but I feel like we should go to the Sun Altar first, because apparently that's where the Professor Toad is. So maybe it'd be worth it just to get that out of the way as soon as possible. Okay, so I think the Sun Altar was this thing way over here. If we talk to Olivia, maybe she'll say, it sounds like we should look for the Altar of the Sun in the Scorching Sandpaper Desert. So it seems like she's on the same page as I am. Get it, same page, Paper Mario. I think that's what this is, but I'm definitely not seeing anybody over here. But let's try putting, yeah, cause there's like a little, you know, sun right here. Aren't you gonna save here? Oh, it really wants me to save. Let's find out why. <laughs> there we go, saving. Save complete. Select an item. Let's use the incense. I don't think we need the key. Whoa. See, the incense is, is like a little thing you can burn to make a smell. Oh, it's smoking. And the smoke is so fragrant. It smells like a sunny day. Ah, it's like we're just laying out in the sun without a care in the world. Oh, the wind's blowing. It's blown a lot. Oh my gosh, what is this? Whoa, it's a tornado. No, our boot! No, us! What's going on? Uh-oh. We're in the center of the tornado right now. This is not good. Oh no, it's a sandstorm. Are we trapped? I'm scared, Mario. What's going to happen next? What is this? Oh, look at those spikes, but that's not too bad. Maybe it's just a cool cactus. Hi, cactus! I don't think that's a cactus, it's spinning. Whoa, it's a giant pokey! Oh man, 
Oh, who am I kidding? Oh my gosh. This isn't good. I agree. Oh no, watch out below! Whoa! So we gotta be careful. But I do see on his little booty there, it had uh, a couple of the uh, little stickers. So let's hop into our, our shoot real quick and make it out of here. <laughs> oh boy. So once again, he's gonna fall, right? Maybe. He's moving around pretty quickly. Maybe I gotta get his attention first. Hey, buddy. Oh. Okay, he's falling. Let's get out quick. And I got one. Awesome, so you can just hit him in any of those spots and he loses his bottom little bulb. And we don't need the extra health, but I'll pick it up. <laughs> Let's get back in. Oh boy. Now more tor tornadoes are coming in within the tornado. Oh boy. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Uh. Can't catch me. Whoa, okay, almost dead. So once again, I'll just sort of stay still and see if he tries to fall on me. Ah, okay, he did. He just didn't give too much of a warning that time. Oh no, oh no. He's spinning real fast. But maybe I can just hit him like that? I can, cool. So this time we'll actually need the heart. I will be glad to grab that. We don't need any of the confetti right now. So he only has two little pieces left. Oh no, oh boy, that's gonna hurt. 15 damage from that. Yikes, luckily we're still in the boot, but now I'm getting hit again. That was a bad string of luck. So, oh gosh, no, 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 no. Okay, now, now, ah, oh, that didn't work. No, the boot car's blowing away, can we get it back? I think we can, hold on. Um, Can we move faster, somebody? Yes, we can, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, ah, oh, darn. Ah, the cactus, use the boot car, press Y. Um, well, first off, y'all, let's call it over. And maybe I can use some mushrooms here. We have plenty of them. There we go. Um, quickly use a mushroom. That gave us 50 health. Oh, we're fine. We're totally fine. So this is getting a whole lot more difficult now. Whoa, come on, I tried to move away from one, but they just sort of went towards the other. Not good. Please just don't land in the direction. Uh, get up, get up, try pressing A. I'm trying. Ah, I don't even get a chance to figure things out before they all attack me. Whoa. Okay, so are you gonna fall? Right now you're trying to just suck me in. Okay, here we go. But I just, that's not fair. I tried to hit it and it just didn't work. I just got hit myself. Oh boy. Let's be careful. I guess I just didn't swing soon enough. Oh my gosh. Is that gonna send the boot flying again? It's not, but. We're gonna be stuck in the sand. I gotta get out quick. This is really tough. I gotta be very careful. Ah, here we go again. So once again, the moment he falls, I need to hit him, but I also need to be careful not to get too close, because apparently I will take damage. There we go, he does a little head. Was that it? I don't think so, I think we still need to do more here, but there's another 50 health back. Get in quick. So what is he gonna do now? He does have a little sticker still on the bottom of him. Will he get dizzy? I don't know. I mean, right now, it's not easy to survive this, but we're making it work. Oh, that was the big slam. Okay, here we go, here we go. Can I just hop on him maybe? I don't know. That didn't work at all. Weird. Oh no, 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 no. So I'll definitely try that again, but this has been odd so far. Maybe I can just drive the car into it. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to do. Because he's doing the big slam again. And let's drive the car into it. That didn't work. Uh, get out quick. Yeah, I got it! Wow, that was crazy. See ya. Boom. Oh, there was a toad inside. Oh, that's him. That has to be. That has to be the Professor Toad. He looked very Professor-like. Reminds me of Professor Colorado from the first paper, Mario. Hey, whoa, look at that weird chunk of confetti. I'm saved? Oh, thank you. You were eaten by a cactus. What was it like? Well, all things considered, it could have been worse. Wait, who are you? I've never seen anyone like you. Are you one of the ancient ones? Tell me. 
ancient. Little old me, ha, and now I'm just Olivia. Nice to meet you. And what's going on with the odds are? Who did this? Hmm, yes. It seems the ancient rituals were observed correctly. Whoa, you can read that writing? Well, of course I am a professor of ancient studies. This is written in the language of the ancient ones. Studying it is my life's work. Yes, we finally found a translator. Now you can tell us what all this means? Ooh, I'm so excited to have a professor helping us now. Oh, before, before you begin, who are the ancient ones anyway? Well, the ancient ones are a people who existed in this geographical region a long time ago. Legend has it that one of these ancient ones still survives today. I have been seeking this person for quite some time. You see, I've dedicated my career to learning more about the ancient civilization based in this desert. One day I hope to unearth a legendary figure from those times. In the ancient texts, he is known simply as Captain Toad. Captain Toad? <laughs> okay. Captain Toad? Am I saying it right? Captain Toad. Or Captain Toad. You, you, your research sounds very complicated, Professor. But we've got a complicated problem too, the streamer in the desert. Wait, can you come with us to help translate the mysterious writing? That might help a lot. Well, according to my research, there may be extensive evidence about Captain Toad hidden in the desert. As a matter of fact, I was conducting research on this very altar when I was consumed. There is a non-zero chance that I may be er, consumed again if I continue. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> ah, but with Mario by my side, my survival might be more assured. Oh, I digress and blather. I accept your offer. Perhaps together we shall solve the mystery of the uh, mysterious Captain Teode. Great, oh, this is exciting. Getting to work with an actual professor. Yes, yes, well, don't get too excited. Much of our time is merely spent uncovering incredible ancient relics and being chased by adversaries. Now, I noticed some ancient writing on the second floor of, of my hotel that might help us. They may hide a clue about your streamer as well. Wow, you're already helping so much. Maybe you can even re-explain all that complicated stuff you just said along the way. I kind of spaced out. <laughs> all right, well, that's awesome. So, able to defeat the giant evil Pokey or as Olivia called it, the giant evil cactus. Um, and we're able to recruit our good friend here, the Captain Toad, well not Captain Toad, Professor Toad. Apparently he's trying to find Captain Toad, as in like, maybe the same Captain Toad we see in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker? That'd be interesting if we could run into him in a Paper Mario game, but as you can see, Olivia is now just gonna say, wow, it's so neat that the professor can read that handwriting. Uh, maybe we'll get to the bottom of this streamer mystery after all. See, so yeah, that's definitely what we'll be working on in the next episode of Paper Mario, the Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.